Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about six signs that your dog might not like you. I know it's a harsh title, but it's important to know what your dog might be feeling so that you can make some changes and improve your relationship with them. So, here are the six signs that your dog might not like you. Firstly, they cower or hide when you're around. This is a classic sign of fear or anxiety. If your dog is always trying to avoid you or runs away when you approach them, it's a sign that they don't feel comfortable around you. Second, they tuck their tail between their legs. This is another sign of fear or submission. If your dog does this when they see you, it's a sign that they're not sure what to expect from you and they're feeling insecure. Third, their body stiffens or their fur stands up. This is a sign of aggression or fear. If your dog does this when they see you, it's a sign that they're feeling threatened and they're ready to defend themselves. Fourth, they flatten their ears or arch their back. These are also signs of aggression or fear. If your dog does this when they see you, it's a sign that they're feeling threatened and they're trying to look bigger and more intimidating. Fifth, they don't take treats from you. If your dog used to love taking treats from you, but now they refuse, it's a sign that they don't trust you or they don't feel comfortable around you. Six, they avoid eye contact with you. Dogs use eye contact to communicate with each other. So if your dog is avoiding eye contact with you, it's a sign that they're not interested in interacting with you or they're feeling uncomfortable. So those are six signs that your dog might not like you. If you notice any of these signs, it's important to try to figure out why your dog is feeling this way. Once you know the reason, you can start to make some changes to improve your relationship with your dog. Here are a few things you can do to improve your relationship with your dog. Firstly, be patient and understanding. It may take some time for your dog to trust you again. Second, give your dog plenty of positive reinforcement. When your dog does something you like, be sure to praise them and give them a treat. Third, spend time playing with your dog. Playing is a great way to build trust and bonding. Fourth, take your dog for walks or to the park. Exercise is a great way for dogs to release stress and anxiety. Fifth, hire a professional dog trainer. If you're having trouble improving your relationship with your dog, a professional dog trainer can help you. By following these tips, you can improve your relationship with your dog and show them that you love and care about them. If you have any other questions about dog behavior, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more dog-related content. Thanks for watching.